happening here? Celebrating arts and culture with PVD Fest's first ever virtual scavenger hunt. Tell us more about it. Stephanie Fortunato, director of the Department of Art, Culture, and Tourism. Good morning, Stephanie. Thanks so much for coming in. Uh, thank you so Even much for having Even if it is us. from a distance. Right. right. <laughs> Happy so, to see you. <laughs> nice to see you as well. First, you know, PVD Fest is one of those events that the city of Providence has grown and grown and grown every year. So many people have looked forward to this event. This year it's going to be a little different, so tell us about it. Yeah, you know, it was really disappointing to have to cancel the festival as we have come to know it over the years. And so we did that in the spirit that we have always approached PVD Fest with a little curiosity and a little optimism that there might be some possibilities to do something else. Right. Well, I mean, you're lucky because, first of all, everyone who works on an event like this is creative maybe think outside the box. So you had a group of people to kind of go to and say, okay, how are we going to do this? Absolutely. And we had actually already commissioned three public artworks that were going to be on view all summer long. And so that really became the centerpiece for our thinking about how we were going to invite people to come out, come downtown, and to continue that discovery that happens at PVD Fest. So how well, everyone is kind of getting used to this whole virtual thing, whether it's Zoom calls, Skype calls, or however, you know, you're communicating with each other. How is this going to work. So you're going to get together your team and you're going to pull, pull together uh, the list from the pbdfest.com website um, and you're going to head downtown to, to do a little discovery. There are about 15 stops on the tour. There's some great prizes if you complete it. But we're asking people to, to go visit, to take a selfie, to post it on social media and tag PBD Fest and really to, to have some fun while they're doing it. Well, I think this is, this is, you're making the best you can out of all of this. People have been cooped up in their house looking for something to do and at least this will get them out of the house uh, and be part of the city of Providence. Absolutely and PVD Fest has always been about the arts and about the artists who make these amazing experiences but also the restaurants and the businesses that are downtown just beginning to reopen. We wanted to make sure that we were finding ways that we could encourage visitors to go and explore. And you're talking about the restaurants in Providence and throughout the state of Rhode Island. They're working so hard and trying to do the best they can to bring their customers back, their loyal customers back and bring in new business as well. Yes, and so with the scavenger hunt, we're actually partnering with the CVB and Providence Restaurant Weeks. We're really trying to encourage people to get out and, and check out those restaurants and what they've done to adapt. So give us a couple of the locations the folks are going to be checking out. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the public art because that's my part of my favorite okay. here. So we've got three sites. Um, uh, one is uh, called Bee Violet, or now the Three Sisters by Allison Newsom and Deborah Spears Moorhead, and that's at Empire Street at 444 Westminster. On the Civic Center Garage, there's an amazing installation by Karen Juisty called Dreamweave. Actually, she's taken textiles and put it into the facade. Right. And then right in front of City Hall, Jerry Ehrlich has feet on the ground, head in the clouds, and so you can take a selfie in front of that amazing sculpture as well. So lots of fun and a chance to get out and see the city of Providence. And I know one of the other things you wanted to make sure you, everybody's using, they're using the hashtag PVD Fest Hunt Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Right. And uh, it's on until September 1st, so we hope that everyone gets out and has some fun to do it. Thanks so much for coming in. Yeah. Best of luck with the event. And if you would like more information on this, you can head to our website. That is roadshow.com. I'm going to toss it back in to Michaela.